Oh, hello. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, not really been a while for the channel, but been a while for me recording. This is the first time I'm recording in a few weeks because I was on my trip to Pennsylvania. More about that later. But for now, we are going to do a few things before I actually get to the Zora area. Oops. Uh, number one is going to this little rock here. The great fairy on top of the mountain said that there's a fairy by the castle and that's what's right behind here. Oh, <laughs> it fell through. That's, I don't know why that happens, but it, it just randomly does. It's so weird. Starting off early, I guess, with my glitches. But hello, welcome back. Speaking of glitches, I'll do one right here. How's everyone doing? It feels good to play this game again. It's... I haven't really played many games since I've been back from uh, my trip. Mostly been playing Elden Ring, but... I don't know, It just something about Nintendo 64 games feels so much better. Yes, Elden Ring is a, an absolutely fantastic game, but this game, it's... It feels good. It feels nostalgic. That's probably why I like it more. Hello, great fairy. I hope you give me something to, uh... Have a fun time. I don't know, I'm trying to make a, a Din's Fire joke, but it's not coming to me right now. I'm gonna get Din's Fire. I'm gonna be able to burn things with fire. Without having to actually find a torch or find, uh, like, fire arrows if I'm an adult. At the cost of magic, though. So I gotta be careful about my magic meter. But that's no problem, right? I can use Din's Fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. That's what I just said. Alright, thanks, uh, fairy lady. Alright, now that we got that out of the way... I don't... I don't actually think we need that for anything. Uh, nothing's coming to mind, really. Oh no, I got caught! That means I'm on this side of the gate now. Now, there's... Another thing that we can do, we can go to the ranch and... Play a little bit of games and learn a new song. Or we can go straight to... The Zora's area and... Figure all that stuff out. I haven't decided yet, we'll see. <laughs> I don't think I need any more rupee, so I'm going to skip the rupee area. And we're going to go straight to the ranch. Actually, I want to try something. I haven't tried this in so long, so... I'll give it a, uh, two attempts. Ah, I give up. What I was going to do is I was going to try to get the bomb to blow me up and then blast me back in a, a certain way that I just slide, but <laughs> it's been so long since I tried it, I'm so rusty. <laughs> There's no chance I'm going to do it. So we'll just backwalk instead. It's sort of the fastest way to travel if you're not on horse or doing glitches. Speaking of horses, hello horses. <laughs> Alright, so first up, we will get the, uh, the song. May as well get it right now, in, uh, just before we forget, really. There's also a heart piece that we could get, and a bottle, which... I'm probably gonna get the bottle as well. There's a little minigame where I have to find chickens to get it. And... I used to do a little trick when I was a young, young lad. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> but right now it's... It's Miss Malon talking about Epona. Probably not pronouncing any of those names right, but oh well. <laughs> All right, get the bugs out because I need to play my ocarina. But I can't play an ocarina without an ocarina. Unless I use a bomb. <laughs> Cute ocarina, no, it's a bomb. It'll blow up if you let it.
All right, let's up left right out of here. This song is more important as an adult. I don't know if there's any use for it outside of just calling Epona. At least not in the non-Master Quest version of the game. But I don't remember. That's the fun about playing this game again. <laughs> I get to learn all sorts of things again. And also, just like that, my bomb's gone. <laughs> Oh man, that was a waste of a bomb. Oh well. Let's play the cuckoo game! Now, as a kid, I used to pick up every single one of these cuckoos and throw them over to the right here in this little nook. Because the goal of the game is to find three specific cuckoos that this guy throws. And it's a lot harder to do that when there's all these other cuckoos around. So, in order to make it easier, I used to throw every single cuckoo in the corner. And just pick up the three <laughs> instantly. But, I'm not gonna do that today, I'm gonna gamble and see if I could find them all right now. If I could pick out these three special birds! then I get a price. There's no way to tell which ones are the special ones, but... He knows. <laughs> uh, oh, wrong one. I meant to pick up this one. Uh, man, it's so hard because they're all mixed up now. All right, there's a second one. There's a third one somewhere over here. Perfect! <laughs> That's a lot better than I thought it would be. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding! You can't marry this child! You're also a child, Link. It really doesn't make a difference whether you say yes or no there. He'll he'll just say, Haha, I was kidding, you idiot! But I got milk! Which means I've got another bottle to potentially... Uh play as an ocarina. <laughs> but for now, next stop is the, uh... is the, uh, Zora area. Oh, I couldn't do it again. Oh well. Uh, I'll figure it out one day. <laughs> I mean, I figured it out. It just... it's a little bit more precise than I want... To, uh, than I want to admit. Especially since I haven't done it in... At least a couple weeks to months, I don't know. <laughs> also ignore that cool backflip going forward or something. But for now, let's just keep going. I need to use the ocarina, or the, the bugs as an ocarina at least one more time. Yeah, one more time. Because <laughs> I think... Oh no, the owl. Actually, let's, let's see if there's bombs here. Because for, for sure, continuing my thought, for sure, I have to play the ocarina to actually get into the Zora area. Sometimes. Or I could just glitch my way in there with a, with a cuckoo. And I should have the ocarina by the time I get to the door of time. Yes, remember the tune of the royal family, the Zelda's Lullaby. The Zelda's Lullaby, not just Zelda's Lullaby. Man, I'm running low on bombs. I gotta figure that out soon. I'm bringing this cuckoo with me because I don't want to do the whole ocarina item again. <laughs> And I believe you could just fly in there with this cuckoo. We'll see. I don't remember. That's what this is. This is just a an entire playthrough of let's see what happens. That's what the initial concept was. Let's see what happens if I don't get my sword at the start of the game. 
And luckily, so far, it's working out really well. So far, I've beaten the Gorons, uh, Dodongo Cavern. I escaped the forest without a problem. The only problem is I need items. Oh, that was a bad jump. Let's go back and do that again. Right, uh, here we go. Go up here. And... There we go. I did it without playing the song, or Zelda's Lullaby. I was gonna say the song of time, but we don't have that yet. All right, now there's a couple things we could do. Uh, we could spawn a chest in that I don't think really does anything for us. I don't remember. I think it's just a heart piece. Uh, but we, what we do need to do is we need to play the Zora diving game. That's just over here. Hello, Zora. I'm ready. Oh, I don't have enough money. Gosh, how could I forget about money? All right, uh, I guess I'm gonna do this first just in case it is money or if it is rupees for sure. If anything, we could stop by the shop afterwards as well. Let's see if there's bombs there. Uh, okay, there's the torch. Have to hurry because these torches don't last forever. These stick ones don't, but the ones that are that look like they're made of metal, those actually do last forever. There we go. And let's see what's in here. Like, I believe it's a heart piece. I don't remember what else it could be. Okay, it is a piece of heart. I was right. Mm, do these have rupees? Oh, this is going to be a long, long rupee gathering session. The weird thing is that if I do the Zora diving game... Oh, <laughs> so confused. I didn't remember putting on a randomizer and having random items come out. That was just a refill for my magic, not an item. But yeah, the Zora's diving game, if I complete it, I get an extra five rupees just because that's what the Zora throws. So what I want to do is forego that five rupees and just put it towards paying for the actual event. But it's not gonna happen. <laughs> this game doesn't do that. Oh. Looks like a four diving. Four diver. Four diving? A four dive diving game. At least we have lots of time. <laughs> Get these two with the same dive? No. I missed. Well, it could have been a four dive dive game. <laughs> but I was just bad. There we go. So the more I do the diving game, the more money I get, essentially. And let's get up there before we do anything else. One of those pots for sure has a stick refill. One of them also has a nut refill. So if I'm ever running low on either of those two items, I should just uh, break all the pots there. Hello. What a graceful dive. Thank you. This is scale of our kind. It's the silver Zora scale. It makes me dive for a couple seconds longer. I think it's by meters, I don't remember. So it goes from three to five, which is enough to, oh, three to six, which is enough to get down here. Oh, 
and what's that? There's something in the water. What a suspicious item this is. I got an empty bottle that's filled with something. <laughs> oh, the Scarecrow song. I'm going to set that as well because I... I doubt I'll play it this, uh... This series when I, uh, become an adult. In-game, I mean. I'm already an adult in real life, so... I mean in-game. But I doubt I'll continue the series. If I do, I... I do want to set something like this up. And this way it'll make just continuing playing the game easier. Oh, nice bombs. Now I can keep trying that one trick that I keep failing. Yeah. I'm also blowing this up because sometimes there's bombs in there which can refill the bombs if I need. But every piece of grass is random what it's going to be. M most of the time it's nothing or money. Sometimes it's hearts if you're missing any. It's a little tougher to get bombs though. Alright, well I don't need to go into the shop then. Unless I want to get some Deku sticks or something. Here's the Deku stick one. Nah, nine should be enough. Oh, look at my bottles. I have three of them. I don't remember where the fourth one is, though. Hello, King Zora. Here's your daughters. Never mind. Uh, guess King Zora didn't really want to read the letter after all. P.S. Don't tell my father. Well... Let's tell your father. <laughs> oh, this letter! It's from Princess Ruto! Yep, she's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. Man. Coming up is my favorite part about this game of all time. <laughs> like, <clears throat> there's plenty of things that I love about this game. Plenty of things I don't love so much, but this is my absolute favorite thing in the entire game. There we go. <laughs> I don't remember how many Mweeps there are, but it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Man, let's get out of here. There is one trick I want to do, though. I want to try one time or two times. I want to try to get into King Zora or King uh, Jabu Jabu. Lord Jabu Jabu, without actually catching a fish. Oops, didn't mean to hit your nose, uh, Lord Jabu Jabu. Alright, I tried. <laughs> that, was, that was my one real attempt. Because the hitbox for the entrance is slightly... It's slightly higher than the base of the mouth or the, the throat of the mouth. And I was just hoping to maybe slightly clip through the top of his head just enough to hit it. But now nah, we need a fish. Lord Jabu Jabu loves fish. All right, so now we can go in. <laughs> or at least now we could open the mouth of Lord Jabu Jabu. <laughs> Yeah. 
Here we go. Up the stairs easily. If, if you could do that in real life, I would be impressed. If you could just side hop like 50 steps non-stop and get up there within like 10 seconds. I would love to see that. It would put Rocky to shame. Alright, here we go. Lower Jabu Jabu, here's your fish. Now eat your fish. Yummy, yummy. Uh-oh. Oh. Looks like I'm eating too. Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually gonna save this. Luckily, we can get out. I'm gonna save Lord Jabu Jabu's belly for next time. So, you know what? With that being said, thanks for watching. It's good to be back. It's good to record again, and it's good to play Zelda again. It feels so good. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bye bye.